Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Iridium Axel, and welcome to a video about Handbrake, a very useful tool for creators such as myself that allows you to compress your video files without having a big quality loss. And I'm going to show you the settings that I use for it while I download it. You can download it from handbrake.fr. I'm doing that right now. I have it uninstalled from my computer because I was actually a few versions behind, so I figured this was a great opportunity to share what I've learned about uh, the best settings that you can use in this to really retain the quality with you guys. All right, so once you're done downloading the Handbrake EXE, go ahead and run it. Hit yes, hit next, hit I agree, hit install, hit finish. So now that Handbrake is installed, I should be able to start it up. I have it set already to my taskbar because I never removed it, but uh, you should get a little thing right here uh, shortcut so that you'd be able to access it easier. I don't need that because, as I said, on the taskbar, convenient place. So, it's going to start with something simple. You can either do a folder filled with video files or do a single video file for compression. I only want to do one as an example to you guys, so I'm going to go to my recordings folder and I'm going to use this one. So, here this video uh, its original size, if I can go back and check real quick, is 969 megabytes for 4 minutes, 28 seconds. So, to start out, we're going to want web optimized right here. Next, let's go to dimensions. The dimensions should all be lined up with what the video originally was, unless you're wanting it to compress it to a even smaller size. So if you had a 1080p video, you could compress it to 720p, but I would stick with the original quality that you have. Next, let's go to video. Frame rate, you want to go for same as source. RF quality, I like to keep mine at 20. That'll keep a good general quality overall. So now let's go to our encoder presets under optimize video and we want to turn this down to medium. That'll just make it go a little bit slower, take some more time to really go through the whole thing. Then let's go to audio. Now I like to have my audio at 192 because some songs if they're below that bit rate will get all messed up and I don't like that. Our codec, we want to be MP3. Now, there are a lot of other settings here, and you can mess around with them, but for just a simple profile to mess with your video and try and make it smaller, these settings should do you really nicely. So I'm going to save a new preset with this, and I'm going to call it the best preset, and the description will be this preset is the best. Category custom presets, dimensions, always use source, yes. So I'm going to change my audio defaults here to 192 and MP3 because I want to make sure that it's always like that since those are, they're a little bit bigger perhaps, but you'll end up with better audio quality in the final result. So add the preset. Now custom presets, the best preset right here. So then when you're ready to save your file, you're going to go to browse and you're going to type whatever you want the name of the video to be and in whatever folder. So I'm going to call this compression test. Hit save or just enter and you're going to hit start encode. So this will take a little while. It'll go pretty fast on my computer because I have a beefy graphics card and a beefy processor. But if this takes even up to an hour for like a longer video, don't be surprised. But it will help with your final upload time. And probably it can shave your file size down by half or more depending on what you're recording. So how compression software works is basically it finds frames that are the same, or one of the ways in which it works. It finds frames that are the same, and it sort of 
cuts them out if there's no reason for them to exist. Uh, and so if you have something like a recording of a desktop like this, a lot of the frames are the same whenever I'm not moving the mouse or there's very few changes. Like on this desktop right now, when I'm not moving the mouse, the only change really are these numbers down here. So you could get a really big compression off of this file that I'm recording right now. In videos of a game or something, you're not going to see as large of results, but you will see a change. And sometimes you won't have much of a change at all. It just depends video to video. But most of the time, you can shave quite a bit off of your videos and quite a bit off the upload time by compressing them. All right, so here are our results. So here's the original video, 969 megabytes. And after we compressed it, it went down to 416. Quite nice indeed. That's a reduction of over half. And now you guys can see the actual side-by-side -side comparisons on screen for the end of this video. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you with your slow internet needs. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ridium Axel, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I told myself that I wasn't going to be doing many more of these, but this is a cool invention that was made by my friend Jim Joe for the newest snapshot, and I thought I would share it with you guys. So basically what this is is a selector panel based... <laughs>